Let us have another, short, to the point conversation, shall we? I will attempt to not take up too much of your time, if this was in all reality a true emergency, a true pandemic, as they prefer to call this flu. Millions would be dying each month. The death rate would be incredible. Not one family would be left untouched. They would not need to use incentives to attempt to coerce people into taking the vaccination. Lockdowns would be completely unnecessary, for the masses would seek to not congregate by their own free will. There would be no need for mandatory vaccinations. This is not about money. This is about power and control. And all those who are attempting to wield that power have no idea that soon they will be disposed of. It gets very tiring at times trying to assist people to see the truth. And I can only believe that two verses, prophecies if you like, have begun in our time. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie. I have no other explanation for the irrationality, for the insanity that has swept the planet. I have always known that the majority of people on the planet are and always have been simple-minded. This much is self-evident in Proverbs 1. Among many other places in the scriptures, the wise are indeed rare, but I had no idea that so many could be so easily deceived. In part, they have been trained for several decades now by Satan's societal system, starting with the very young, but I believe it is the propensity of mankind to follow authority and for the main reason of possible personal retribution. For fear, if they don't, the perfect love that casts out all fear mentioned in 1 John 4. 18 is known as reality by very few people. There is a certain level of fear, of personal loss of safety that most will find acceptable. Some will climb mountains, others prefer to stay on solid flat ground. And this is the dilemma, if you will. The reason for the mandated vaccine requirements that are approaching, some of those mountain climbers will acquiesce to their demands. Fear of the loss of income if they refuse their employer's demands in this area. Fear of the loss of the ability to maintain what they have come to expect as their normal life. But Satan is not unwise or unprepared in this area either. If you will notice, he has started this mandated operation with the pubs, the bars and restaurants, music venues, places where people like to congregate, playing on their base of emotions. The next logical step is of course those areas of need. Food, water, and the ability to earn an income to provide one's family with those necessities of life. This is not a game, my friends. This is not going to just go away. It is never going to reach a place of herd immunity. It was never intended to. I would ask you to look at the last part of Matthew 24. 24. If it were possible. Many of those who prefer to keep their feet on the ground have already acquiesced to the demands set before them. They have since day one when they were told to put a mask on. The mountain pliers, the risk seekers, if you will, are beginning to obey for their livelihoods and for many, their families' lives are now at stake deep personal financial debt in many cases. The loss of the ability to purchase even the most basic of essentials to drive them to submission. That leaves only the hardcore, so to speak, stragglers and one other group, 
those who have been blessed with eyes to see and ears to hear, those who are born again, those who have been crucified with Christ, those who truly understand Philippians 1, 21, for to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. We are going to lose the battle, either by the forfeiting of our lives for the glory of God, or by abdication through the rapture. If you would honor the name of Jesus Christ, if you would see God exalted above the heavens, then the time to stand has begun, has begun, has begun, has begun, has begun, has begun.